Left. Slightly behind him is Tyndall. Looking to hand off, he does, and that one is amazingly beat on the play is Colton Vosick. Vosick just sheds his blocker, read the play beautifully, and blew him up right there. Tyndall stopped right at the 45-yard line. It's a loss of two on the play. Third and long coming up just shy of midfield. Well, Colton Vosick's career highlight tape is lengthy, but that one's going to go on it right there. That is an unbelievable play by the senior defensive end because you have to be somewhat in the vicinity of the defensive player that jumps offside. So a good call there on the false start. Third down and 11, three wide receivers to the right of Paxton Land, who's back to pass. Here comes the rush. He steps up in the pocket, still on his feet, rolls right, still looking, has a man downfield. He fires. That's caught by Kaiser at the 30. Kaiser diving towards the 20-yard line, and the Chaparrales pick up the first down as they are into the race. Casey Kane's red zone down to the Tiger 19. Beautiful flip and catch as Paxton Land somehow stays upright and gets it to Kaiser for a 23-yard pickup and a first down. Man, what an athletic play by Paxton Land. A spin out of the pocket and a find his running back and a good job by Kaiser to get himself open there. Guard there, so I think it's the right call here to bring out the field goal unit. Carter Eggie from the snap helm. Sockwell with the hold. The kick is up from 30 yards out, and it is good. Three and a half minutes remaining here in the first quarter, and the Shaft strike first. West side's left, one to his right on the short side of the field. Looking left now, flushed out of the pocket, has to roll, can't get out of the way of Wyand, and Wyand brings him down. That's his fifth sack, or excuse me, tackle for loss. His fifth tackle for loss right at the 20-yard line, and Novasad loses yardage on that play, a five-yard loss. And I'll tell you what, we talk a lot about Colton Vosick, we talk a lot about Brett Mays, but inside, Wyatt Dollar and and Nate Wyand just having a stellar season here in their senior campaign. You're right. I mean, they're the unsung heroes of that defensive line. Westlake, for many years under Tony Salazar, known for producing outstanding defensive ends. And Two wide receivers each way on second and 14. Paxton Land looking to throw, back to pass, steps up in the pocket, fires over the middle. That pass behind Greathouse. He somehow elevates and makes the grab. Oh, my goodness. What a catch here on a pass that was just behind him. The Notre Dame commit, the three-time All-American, just leaps in and makes a tremendous grab of 19 yards and a first down. Well, they talk about a wide receiver's catch radius. <laughs> this is catch radius. For Jaden Greathouse, what an athletic play. Quit this ball on the 18-yard line. It'll be a 28-yard attempt here for Carter Eggie. Looking for his fourth field goal try here, and he makes it. So with 8.37 to play, especially with first and goal at the ball at the one, here's the snap out of the pistol. Hand off to Tyndall. He's trying to run left. Not much running room there, and he is upended after about a yard gain out to the 26-yard line. Tackle made there by Wyand. Ingram are there to wrap him up. See, there had a little bit of a lane there as Byers Petty. Tigers, third and 14. They send a man in motion to Novosad's right. And that is Cook as a slot receiver. He's looking that direction. Novosad fires that pass play at the 30-yard line as he cuts up field. But another good play there by Will Courtney as he runs down Cook. He had eyes on Cook the entire time. From the snap, his head was right on number six. Cook came up with a good pass. Great spot on the throw. But Will Courtney with a better play one on one in the open field. Now he's directing traffic and having Tyndall come back in to his right. Two wide receivers that direction looking to hand it off to Cook. Cook trying to get to the edge. He turns the corner and Will Courtney drops him like third period French at the 45 yard line. Wow, what a play on Tyndall. Tried to cut it upfield and that was all Will Courtney. What a play. And that's east to west running against the Westlake defense and a hold right there that was missed. but. That just doesn't work real well. Of a very fast man in Keaton Quebec. Second and seven after the gain of three. Land steps up, fires that pass caught by Quebec. Quebec across midfield to the 30, outside the numbers, to the 20, lowers his shoulder, hops over the defender, and he's inside the Raising Canes red zone. The biggest play from scrimmage thus far for the Chaparrales, and it goes to the Kansas commit, Keaton Quebec. Huge play, 51 yards as Landon required, pulls him down at the end but not before he skates across 51 yards of turf here at Tiger Stadium. Well, he's the only guy who was deep in the route for Westlake there, and man, what a throw, confident throw by Paxton Land. Long field goal here. So we have to see if it's going to be Spencer Barnett. Yes, and it is going to be Barnett that's going to try this one. And this is, like John said, a ways away. This will be a 46-yard effort. 
Good snap out of the hold of Sockwell. It's got good distance for Spencer Barnett, and it is good. Oh With 43 seconds left, Spencer Barnett gets something out of nothing. Bartlett now thrust in the Nate Acosta roll. With the injury to number eight last week against Anderson. Now looking to hand off here, trying to get to the edge. Jack Kaiser does across the 30, breaks into the open field, to the 10, to the five. Jack Kaiser into the end zone. JFK scores the game's first touchdown in the opening drive of third quarter. Touchdown, Westlake. Well, we were wondering if Westlake was going to break a run, and what a time to do it in the opening drive. You can see an outside run play. Great block there by Bryce Chambers. Another one by Greathouse, Keaton Quebeca. We talk about receivers blocking downfield. That is the reason that that turned into six points for number 33. Trying to go up tempo. Coaches from Dripping Springs sideline barking, trying to get the snap off. And now the handoff goes to Tyndall. Tyndall, not much running room. And the ball came out, and Westlake's had it. Fumble recovery for the Westlake Chaparrales. And I believe coming out of the bottom of that pile might be Byers Petty. Wow. You can see the confusion for Dripping Springs. They wanted to try and run up tempo. And Ford Thompson comes in and rips the ball out. And Byers Petty picks it up. Beautiful forced fumble and a turnover here for Westlake as they get the ball back near midfield. The ball marked just outside the 31 at the 32 yard line. Nova side back to pass, looking at throw. Steps up in the pocket and he's dropped. The ball's come out. It's loose. That is not a forward pass and this should be Westlake football. Wow, what a turn of events here. As I believe that got, who got in there was Colton Vosick and Vosick knocked the ball out. For a moment it looked like perhaps the officials would rule that an incomplete pass. I think there is a fair amount. And you can see here, he did not throw that football. That ball was out. He turned the shoulders. It was almost like Novosad maybe tried to sell the tuck rule there. And uh, But that time... Because uh, they certainly could have right there on the Dripping Spring defensive back. So third down and one. Back on either side. And this time Paxton Land does keep the ball. And he's going to score from 24 yards out. Oh, what a play and a gamble there. They call the zone read. The quarterback keeps the ball, and Paxton Land is into the end zone. Touchdown, Westlake. What a play call. And that was the play we've been looking for. I was going to say it in the third quarter, Joe, that you said it on the last drive. At some point, Paxton Land's going to pull this football because they are selling out to stop Jack Kaiser. As a receiver, now an empty backfield and a four-man front for Westlake defensively. Back to pass is Novosa. Now fires up the middle. That one picked off and is picked off by Westlake. It's Will Courtney again. His third interception. And it's Westlake football inside the Raising Cane's red zone. The third interception of the season for Novosad. And the second in as many weeks for Will Courtney. And it's Westlake ball. Another second half in back-to-back -back district games where the Westlake Chaparrales have forced three turnovers. It's Westlake ball. Well, Novosad, I think, was in a situation where he knew he needed to get something going, and he forced the football, and that was just a great break on the ball by Will Courtney. And what a play for Westlake. What a second half. And what a game just by both, by both of these teams. This is what Texas high school football is all about, as you see Coach Todd Dodge on the sideline. I'll tell you what, retirement looks good on old TD down there. He's, you know, obviously he's trying to keep his pace. He was not going to miss this game. Too big here as a fan of Texas high school football in a long time. Hall of Fame head coach. Now the play action land looking to ice this game. He's got a receiver wide open. That ball is caught by Chambers. Chambers into the end zone. Touchdown, Westlake. They tried the spider two wide banana. It worked to Pap for the Dripping Springs Tigers earlier in the half. It works for Chambers as he is into the end zone. Touchdown. The Novosad's ball here in the fourth quarter by design as Westlake won the toss. Now Novosad on play action. Back to pass. The Baylor commits surveying. Fires downfield. Doesn't have anybody open but Denham Collins. He picks it off as well. Back to back interceptions. Now four turnovers as Collins has his first pick of the season and Denham Collins sets up the offense again. Another takeaway for Westlake as they play the play action perfectly over the middle as Denham Collins just waited for that ball to come down. Yeah, that's just desperation right there for Novosad just trying, hoping, praying for anything to go right on that throw and it just was way past his receiver. Collins fielded that like a punt. 
and Westlake takes over. There's no doubt in my mind that Dripping Springs can compete with Lake Travis. It's going to be between the ears and getting over this loss and moving your attention on to the Cavaliers. So third down and five, Nova side on the play action. Back to pass, good footwork, has time, fires over the middle. That pass picked off too. Nathan Blue comes up with the interception. Five turnovers here in the second half, and Nathan Blue gets his in the middle of the defense. Blue with his first career interception, and the Chaparrales, an amazing five takeaways here in the second half. Curling the sidelines, looking for some good stories that we'll put out there on social media for sure. And Westlake leading 29 to 10, five turnovers in the ball game, all in the second half, four in the last four possessions alone. And now on third down and nine at the 49 yards, you can. Handoff's going to go to Kaiser. Kaiser with a stutter step as he gets to the second level down to the 41-yard line. And he is good for a first down as he gets across the 42 to the 41-yard line. And the chains move, and that should do it as Westlake will keep this streak alive. With that an eight-yard run for Jack Kaiser, it should, excuse me, a 10-yard run for Jack Kaiser. It should draw out victory formation here. With what a game, a real slugfest all the way through. Second half, you guys started to take control. The big call, Paxton land on the zone read. 23-yard yeah. touchdown. What a call right there. Yeah, I mean, it was a total team effort. I mean, we finally finished the second half. We talked about halftime, about finishing drives. and. Obviously, defense has some good turnovers there, and offense finished the drive. And once you start scoring touchdowns, those, those things add up. Yeah, how about that defense? Five turnovers in yep. the second half, three interceptions, and that led to scoring as well. Couldn't be more proud of these guys. I mean, they answered the bell. Everybody all week talking about Dripping Springs defense. Last time I checked, the number one defense in Texas lives at Westlake. There you go. And those guys had something to prove tonight, and they did. They had our back. Great, great seniors on defense, made plays all over the place, 91, 16. I mean, we had football players, and so I'm so so excited for those kids. The bigger the game, it seems like your team rises to the challenge right. each and every time, and this is one of those. Does this have any special meaning concerning you coming back here, growing up here? That means that was, that was 47 win, and yeah. that's the one we wanted. And we want to keep going. We want to win them all, and, and we can't win them all if you lose one. So that was the job. Being first place in 26-6A, that's where we're at now. Okay, And obviously start getting better as a football team, and I think we took some strides that way tonight. Congratulations, Coach. Great job tonight.